everybody. Welcome to the Zoning Board of Appeals for the Village of Takahoe for the month of February 2023. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Nancy, please take the roll. Loretta. Present. Member Fiore. Present. Member Ringwald. Present. Member Brown. Present. Member Suarez. And Chairman Ringwald. I am present. First order of business will be to approve the minutes of the January the 11th meeting. Any members have any questions, issues? No, I'm all good. No. I will make a motion to approve the minutes for the January the 11th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone have to abstain? No. No. Okay. Thank you. Well, we have five items. First will be 118 Sagamore Road. They're seeking an area variance for a new gazebo. Is the applicant present? Mm. Aye. Um, Please just step forward and state your name for the record. Patricia McTavitt. Has anything changed since our last meeting? No. Mm. Very good. All right, you can have a seat then. Sorry, mm -hmm. make you get up. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, public hearing is still open <clears throat> on uh, 118 Sagamore Road. Is there anyone from the public who would like to comment regarding this area variance for a new gazebo? Seeing none, I will make a motion to close the public hearing. Hearing, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Does any member have a resolution they would like to present for 18 Sagamore? I do. Um, the application for area variances requested by Patricia McDevitt, whose address is 118 Sagamore Road, Tuckahoe, New York, Section 27, Block 7, Lot 3, for relief from the following sections of the zoning code 4 1.1.4, subsection C, accessory structures. Based on this application as submitted, this Zoning Board of Appeals finds and determines that the action taken herein is an unlisted action subject to the requirements of SECRA and its implementing regulations. This Zoning Board of Appeals is in possession of all information reasonably necessary to make this determination as to the environmental significance of the proposed area variance application. That the action taken herein shall not have a significant adverse impact on the environment and it is declared that a negative declaration is hereby adopted with regard to this action. Do I have a second to the proposal? Second. Nancy, please poll the board. Yes. Member Ferretta? In favor. Member Fiori? In favor. Member Brown? In favor. Member Rinaldi? In favor. In favor. Applicant is seeking to construct a gazebo in her backyard that exceeds the dimensions allowed for in the zoning code of the village of Tuckahoe. The proposed gazebo is a prefab model that will be 121 square feet and have a height of 9 feet and 4 inches. We find due to the location of the proposed gazebo and the size of the applicant's yard, there will be no adverse effect to the surrounding properties. Therefore, recommendation is for the area variances to be granted as the benefit to the applicant of the area variances outweigh the detriment to the health, safety, and welfare of the neighborhood. The applicant has demonstrated through its submissions and presentation that it, it has met all aspects of the five-prong test to the satisfaction of this board. The granting of the variance herein is granted on the condition that the work under such variance be commenced and diligently prosecuted within one year of the granting thereof, failing which such variance shall become null and void. Thank you. Do we have a second to, to the proposal? Second. Nancy, please poll the board. Yes. Member In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. Uh, congratulations. That's it. You may leave and uh, good yeah, luck good with luck. your gazebo. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Is um, two grant 136 uh, Sagamore here? Then we'll, we'll, we'll proceed in order then. 22 Wallace Avenue here. Yep. Erica Gates. Hi. Yep, just step to the uh, mic and state your name for the record, please. Erica Gates. Whoa. <laughs> I was ready. 
<laughs> All right, so you are seeking an area variance to uh, finish a basement, correct? Yes. So please explain to the board um, why it is that you uh, would like to finish the basement with a full bath. It's a two-family house, and I'm on the first floor, and I only have one bathroom. So for a family of four, it's really hard to um, use only one bath and not even have a half bath. Um, also, by um, sectioning the downstairs basement, I'm able to give access to the second floor apartment, uh, access to a laundry area. Right now, it's just uh, open, where um, using it as a storage, all of my belongings would be also just not really private if I would let the second floor apartment use the washer dryer. So you, you basically would occupy the basement and the first floor and your tenant occupies the second floor Correct. but with the renovation you'd be able to give them access to a laundry room in the basement correct very good do you mind uh, putting the drawings up on the board and walking us through thank you and I'm gonna to have to ask you to do one other thing once you pin it up is to grab the microphone take your time there's no rush Oh, very nice. <laughs> so currently, um, the boiler is in the center, and it's you have kind of this O around that you know is um, that I'm able to use for storage. This area that says un, um, excavity has um, I use it as a pantry area. So what I'm actually trying to do is um, the washer dryer, instead of being here, just putting it here and closing that off. So as soon as you come down the stairs, you would have the laundry area. So upstairs would be able to access the laundry area. And by putting a door here, then the rest of the area here, I'm able to keep my belongings and putting the bathroom where the washer dryer is currently. There's already a drain, so I figured that, you know, the water's already there, so it would be easy to add that there. Okay, so it, on paper, it looks as if you could turn this into yet another apartment and make it an illegal three-family house. So explain to us, please, on the right side there, where you have the drawing uh, referencing rock. Yes, thank you. Explain why, why that, you know, my theory is incorrect. So initially, I wanted to actually open this and make it like better organization for my storage. And I discovered that there's like rocks in here. You can't touch this. The bedrock? Rocks, completely. Yeah. You can't, you cannot move this. That's why it's so thick. Right. Because you, you just can't, it's, you're unable to use that space. And there's really no heating there. So um, you just have like your, your boiler area here. And then it's kind of a like notched area but you know with notches you're able to use it as storage you could yeah. any hole you could put stuff and use it as storage but for a livable space you're just unable to do it so there's no heat in the basement no okay and uh why is it that you wanted a uh, full bath and instead of a half bath if i think you mentioned before you couldn't fit a half bath so what yes i can't fit a half bath upstairs there's just no space but if I have the space there and I'm able to put another bathroom, it would just benefit us to have another shower if we're going to have another bathroom <coughs> there. Just a family of four waiting on someone to use the bathroom, take a shower. It's, it's uh, quite a challenge. I hope you're going to put heat in the bathroom. I'm hopeful that this should be so. <laughs> Okay, so as mentioned, you have, do you have any objection to us uh, doing a site visit? I don't. I think it'd be easier to, you know, take a look at this yeah. and see, because again, you know, I trust and believe everything you're saying, but you know, again, on paper, it kind of looks like you're trying to turn it into a three family house. And if not you, then maybe the next person who buys the house or whatever. And that's what we're trying to prevent. You wouldn't need the variance if you weren't putting the bathroom in, but I understand you you need the bathroom so I think it's a fair request but personally I'd like to see it if that's okay with you sure all right anybody yep. uh, have any 
Other yeah, questions? Yeah. I like to, I like to have a visual. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, we'll arrange yeah. it. We won't just show up at your door. I appreciate it. Thank Unless you. that lady's serving those hamburgers, <laughs> she promises. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And that's only a one door going in mm. from, yes. uh, from outside? So, And the two yes. windows? That's the bulkhead. Mm. That leads to a bulkhead in, in the back. And um, here you would go up and you're in the lobby. Yeah, I mean. And it leads to the front door. Okay. Questions? Okay, so as we stated, we, we need to open the public hearing on this and leave that open until next month. And between now and next month, we will arrange with you to have a uh, site visit by uh, no more than two of us at a time. Okay? Okay. All right. And do me a favor, please. Let me have back my drawings on the top. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm going to make a motion to open the public hearing for 22 Wallace Avenue. They're seeking an area variance for, to finish a basement. Do I have a second? Second. Is there anyone from the public here tonight that would like to comment regarding 22 Wallace Avenue? Please step forward. Seeing none, I will make a motion to leave the public hearing open. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Thank you. We'll see you um, next month. Well, we'll see you between yeah. now and next month. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Chair, since hey. uh, 22 Wallace wasn't here, uh, no, yeah. Um, Grant. Grant. Grant was not here. Well, let's put that on second call. All right. Take the other. We'll go forward. And yeah. Very we'll good. see if he shows yeah. up. Nine Oak Avenue present. Please step forward and state your name for the record. Everybody. My name is Andrew Collingham. I'm the architect for Nine Oak Avenue, uh, which is a detached, uh, new detached garage project. Uh, there was an existing detached garage on the property in the same location um, that was uh, effectively demolished uh, by a car accident, uh, accidentally. So this building uh, was then beyond repair and it needed to be demolished completely and rebuilt. Um, so. At the time, we explored some options uh, for building a larger garage because the existing garage was roughly 18 feet by 18 feet, which is small for today's standards. Uh, but ultimately, we decided, the owners and myself, that we did not want to go through the zoning board process and just rebuild it in the same footprint. So we, we drew the building uh, the same size. Uh, we submitted the drawings, got the permit uh, to construct this garage in the, in the same footprint. Uh, we went up a little higher to gain some storage space, uh, but at some point in time, uh, somebody picked up the wrong set of drawings, perhaps from a previous design, and the garage was built 11 inches wider uh, than we intended to based on the approved stamped drawings. Uh, it was extended 11 inches to the interior uh, of the lot, so the existing side uh, setback as well as the rear setback remained the same. It just grew 11 inches to the interior of the lot. Um, it wasn't until we called for the framing inspection that this dis discrepancy was noticed. Um, and at that point in time, removing uh, or rectifying uh, this mistake would be hugely detrimental to the project, um, not to mention very expensive. So at the end of the day, we did have to go to the zoning board, and that's why we're here tonight. Yeah, we ask for uh, a variance, an area variance, to extend uh, an existing uh, non-conforming structure. Okay, very good. So just to repeat, the garage is already up. A uh, mistake was made, and you encroached mm -hmm. 11 inches into your own property, not to the side or to the rear. That's correct. All right, thank you. Uh, I don't have any other questions. Anyone from the board have any questions? Yeah, I just want to know, you let the neighbors know? Notification. Yeah. Yes. They did. Okay. Hmm. All right. So as stated in the work session, we will open the public hearing on this. Leave it open until next month. Close the public hearing, and then we should be able to give you a decision mm. at that time. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. Thank. Wait, wait, do we open the public hearing? Sorry. We have to open the public hearing. Yeah. We do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a motion to open the public hearing. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait. Open the public hearing. <coughs> 
for uh, Nine Oak Avenue. Yes. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone from the public present that would like to comment regarding Nine Oak Avenue? Seeing none, I will make a motion to leave the public hearing open. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Thank you. Okay. See you next Good month. Luck. Thank you very much. 269 Columbus Avenue, special permit for a new business, uh, personal training fitness. Yes. Please. Please state your name for the record, please. <clears throat> Okay, 269 Columbus Avenue. Um, I don't have any questions. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, just tell very them unusual. Them. So why don't you just, yeah, yeah, just explain That'd be yourself. great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I became a personal trainer seven years ago. Um, I went to school first to become an engineer, and then I found that that's not really what I wanted to yeah. do. Um, so I found my passion for health and fitness. I got my degree in health coaching, fitness, and nutrition. Um, now I train people of all different ages and fitness levels. I train a lot of people with special needs like stroke victims, a lot Ooh. of people with autism. Um, and as my business has grown, I just feel like I need a bigger space to accommodate different things that I want to do with uh, my clients and a lot of like group classes and things like that. So I think it would be good for not only my business, but for my clients. You're mostly one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, mostly one-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. And like the biggest I do is like two three at a time mm. oh okay yeah i thought i, I heard you yeah. say group i was just going to ask that two or three would be the max mm. yeah all right mm. what are you uh, the hours you got certain hours um, mm. yeah from like eight to ten weekends yes yeah. weekends as well. saturday sunday um, or just saturday mo just saturday just saturday okay. yeah i'm sorry eight in the morning to ten, ten at night? night yeah okay bill is that permitted mm. And will it always be self-contained? In other words, yeah. will, will they always be indoors, or will there be any outdoor activity? Indoors always. Okay. Remember another one we had, and they were doing mm. stuff outside, and then some people were moaning about that. Mm. So, Mr. <clears throat> Chair, if I can yeah. clarify something. The, um, this applicant was before the planning board's work session last night. The planning board had no issues with it. Mm -hmm. um, they, they asked the hours of operation just like you did, um, and they said, you know, obviously she's not going to be able to work eight to ten every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they said, just give us a range um, because we don't want you know you there without outside of that range. Yeah. So they said, be generous for yourself. So I think that's where uh, she came up with that number. But oh, I don't okay. expect her to be open from eight to ten. Every and, uh, day. You're the only trainer. Yeah. So basically, how I um, thank you do my sessions is. I'm available from 8 to 10, but it's on a session-by-session session basis. So I'm not working from 8 to 10. I'm available. So if someone wants to come in at 12 o'clock, they let me know, and we do a session at 12 o'clock. It's not like, oh, I'm there from 8 to 10 every day. Thank you. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I also do virtual sessions because because of COVID, I've gotten a lot of clients like out of state, out of country. Oh, all right. I do a lot of different things. Pretty cool. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Questions? No, I'm good. The space that you're occupying, are you doing any like construction modifications or it's just setting up the equipment and using? It's use just setting up, putting a gym floor down and painting. Okay. Yeah. Is there a basement there? No. 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 Not to our, no, not to us. Good. So it may be a basement in space, but we don't have access to it. Okay. We don't Thank have you. access to mm. the space there bathroom in the back and then the space is open thank you i don't have any questions mm. anybody no. 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 all right as we explained to you in the work session we'll open the public hearing on this leave it open until next month and at our next meeting we'll be able to give you a decision but based on what we thank see you. it looks fine thank Great. you thank, thank you, you and good luck good well thank you I am going to make a motion to open the public hearing regarding 269 Columbus Avenue. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone from the public? Seeing none, I will make a motion to leave the public hearing open. Do I have a second? Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thank you, folks. Aye. See you next Aye. time. Aye. Thank you. Last but not least, we have nine, no, sorry, uh, two grant slash 136 Sagamore. Reduce the number of parking spaces required. The applicant is not present. This is the second meeting. Uh, if it's okay with the village attorney and the building department, I say we move forward with the conditional um, approval. Yeah, ab absolutely. I think last time he, he did indicate that he might not be here. He might have been traveling. So okay. he presented last last month and uh, would have to assume that there's no changes. Very good. Does anybody have the uh, proposal they'd like to present? Yes, I have a resolution. Resolution. Like Chair, the public hearing is still open, though, oh, so. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Seeing no one from the public, I will assume no one has any comments. <laughs> so I will make a motion to close the public hearing. <clears throat> Excuse me, for two grant 136 Sagamore. Do I have all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, before I present the resolution, the, it only says 136 Sagamore Road. Should it also indicate the two two grant, or is it fine because it has the block and lot? Yeah, the application only had the uh, 136 Sagamore. It goes by block or lot, but in okay. the resolution, no. I would definitely yeah. say the two grant too. That's fine, just to be okay. crystal clear. Okay. Thank you. The application for area variance is requested by Crimson Realty LLC. Uh, and Jonathan David MDPC whose address is 136 Sagamore Road also known as 2 Grant Street Tuckahoe New York section 32 block 2 lot 1 for relief from the following sections of the zoning code 5-2.21.3 subsection G3 parking requirement for medical doctor based on the application as submitted this zoning board of appeals finds and determines that the action taken herein as an unlisted action subject to the requirements of SECRA and its implementing regulations. The Zoning Board of Appeals is in possession of all the information reasonably necessary to make the determination as to the environmental significance of the proposed area variance application. That the action taken herein shall not have a significant adverse impact on the environment and it is declared that a negative declaration is hereby adopted by, with regard to this action. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Nancy, please poll the board. Yes. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. Applicant has a medical office at 136 Sagamore Road, also known as 2 Grand Street in Tuckahoe. Applicant is seeking to reduce his required parking space from 4 to 3. The reason for the request is that the applicant is a solo practitioner with two full-time employees and that since there are only three people that are in need of, a park, in, of parking, a fourth space is not needed. We concur with the applicant. Therefore, recommendation is for the, the area variances to be granted as the benefit to the applicant of the area variances outweigh the detriment to the health, safety, and the welfare of the neighborhood. The applicant has demonstrated through its submissions and presentation that it has met all aspects of the five-prong test to the satisfaction of this board. As a condition to this approval, we note that the past several years, the applicant has only been purchasing three spaces from the village without formally reducing his parking requirement with, his, with this board from the required four. Since this board is not legally able to waive the delinquency, it is a requirement of this approval that the two spaces that were required, one for each year, be paid for to the village before this approval goes into effect. The granting of the variances herein is granted on the condition that work under such variance be commenced and dil diligently prosecuted within one year of the granting thereof, failing which such variances shall become null and void. Thank you. Is there a second to the proposal? Second. Nancy, please poll the board. Yes, in favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. In favor. Very good. Congratulations. Uh, is there any other business that needs to be discussed? No. See. Oh, minutes. Yes, we do. First order of business. Yes. Yeah. Seeing none, I will uh, make a motion to close this meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night, Tuckahoe. Aye.